What's up guys? Welcome to another episode of Rick Creating. As you guys could tell, I've been super busy. Alright everybody, so um, as you guys could tell, I've been super busy making a bunch of characters, so I've this is all I've been doing. I know I haven't posted in a long time, but this is the reason why. Um, a lot of you guys have uh, bought a bunch of stuff from eBay, and then a lot of you guys had um, asked me to do other characters, you know, away from eBay, just do commission work. And uh, I talked to you guys on email, uh, via email, and uh, you guys wanted me to make some uh, characters for you guys. So um, uh, I'm almost done. Almost done. Uh, I'll be done by tonight. Um, this guy is completely done. Link Static. He is finished. He is by far the best Link Static I've made. At least in my eyes, he's the best one I've made so far. So I think he looks the most like Link Static. I really love how the nose came out. Everything came out pretty good on this guy. I really like this guy. Um, <clears throat> this one's all going. This one's all done. This one's going out tomorrow, and he is almost done. I just gotta paint his pants and all that. I was waiting for him to dry. That's why he's doing, you know, the breakdancing moves. So, so now I have to shape the uh, the helmet a little bit. But as far as the face goes, this face is all done. I just gotta put the stripes on his on his pants and then the blobs on his shirt and then sharpen the bottom of his feet because <clears throat> you know he, he you know this guy has spikes on the bottom of his feet and this guy is all done this guy was by far the hardest one I had to do by far has been the hardest character I've done um, I've done another one of these guys uh, Kip Killigan uh, out the way. So, um, I've done another Kip Killer game before. Uh, there's too much shadow there. I want to show you guys. And um, I did it without the without the bandana. <clears throat> but the person that ordered it, sorry, I have I have uh, something stuck in my throat. Anyways, so the person that ordered this, um, which is Polly, one of the good, 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 good friend of I or the good friend of the channel. Uh, he's been very supportive for a long, long time. So um, this one's going out to Polly. Thank you so much, Polly, for ordering this guy. I appreciate you so much. Um, all of you guys who had subscri uh, subscribed to me and went to my eBay store and bought my stuff, I appreciate you guys so much because all that stuff does go back to the channel. I did buy more uh, um, epoxy clay, and I bought other stuff, so other tools to make more characters for you guys. Um, for everybody that bought a small soldier toy, for everybody who bought um, a Dragon Ball Z toy, I appreciate you guys. You guys are awesome. It feels so good for you guys to like my art and, you know, pay your hard-earned money to, you know, get one of these pieces for yourself. Um, as a collector myself, um, I've always wanted these as a kid. When I wa first watched the movie, I was like, man, why didn't they make a, you know, a Link Static or a Butch Me Hook or... Uh, Kip Killigan and I was like oh, you know God gave me a gift and I'm gonna use it and you know uh, I started making my own toys and I was like man this thing turned out pretty good <laughs> like I mean wouldn't you think that these two go together like if you didn't know that they made a link static if you were to see these in a shelf you would think that they come together you know what I mean they're in the same uh, type of uh, uh, what do you call it same brand right like if the if Kenner kept making these toys You'll think that they're, you know, this was this was packaged. You know what I mean? So that's what I wanted to do. That's what that's the reason why I used these toys to make these guys, so they could go along with the original toys. So you could, you know, put them in a shelf together, and uh, they look good together. And that's the reason why I started making them this way. <clears throat> Excuse me. I should drink some water because it has like dry throat. Anyways, um, so yeah, I wanted to show you guys. Uh, this dude because this guy has a little something special um, first of all he has his machete uh, he does have a machete in the in the movie 
Um, I'll try to add a little photo here for you guys. So there you go. He does have a machete, so that's his machete. Another thing that I want to show you guys that none of these have, or none of these, or any small soldier whatsoever has, is articulation. Check that out. His hand moves up, or his arm, I should say, moves up and down. That has never happened before. Ching, 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 ching. Looks like Jason with the machete and stuff. Anyways, is that cool or what? <laughs> so I put articulation on the arms, on both arms, of course. Uh, it's hard to move when you got the camera on my hands, but move it forward. So yeah, there you go. He's got articulation on his hands. How cool is that? Isn't that cool? It looks really cool with his hands down like this. Like he's coming after you. But yeah, this guy is really cool. I think this is the best one I've made so far. And I think this guy is the best one I made so far of Link Static. Of Kip Killigan, the best one I made. Link Static, the best one I made. And I have I have two more Link Statics to make. And then um, this guy was, he's for my collection, so I'm not going to sell him. Um, I am making a Link Static out of him. And I will post them in a video sometime in the future. Whenever I'm done with them, I'm not, I'm not in a hurry to make him because it's, he's from my collection. But these guys, I'm going to completely done, be done as soon as possible. And then I do need to make another Butch Me Hook, which I ordered another uh, Chip Hazard. And it should be coming tomorrow, I think. So I will be doing another Butch Me Hook for somebody that ordered it. Um, uh, Polly ordered this one. And then um, Brian ordered this one and and uh butch me hook which is over here um he ordered both of those so thank you brian thank you Polly. thank you for like i said thank you everybody who had ordered uh a small soldier or dragon ball z figure from me uh thank you guys so much man it really means the world to me i appreciate you guys for everything you know it's awesome to be able to do this um uh, for you guys and you know get paid for it and make more for you guys you know what i mean entertain you guys while making these guys and you guys could keep them for your collection anyways thank you guys so much for watching i appreciate you guys um like i said i just wanted to make a quick little update because i know i haven't posted in a long long time and i, I i'm sorry for that but like i said i i am busy and um yeah anyways thank you guys i appreciate your support love you guys and um uh, if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe because if you guys do, guess what? You guys will see me on the next one. Peace.